Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you are enjoying your day together and staying healthy at home. As you can hear, some of our neighbors are having some fun too, and that is all wonderful. Um, today, I know I saw some really fun pictures from Easter last week, and I absolutely love that. So I'm going to ask you guys to be interactive again this morning too. So right now, if you're watching this, I want you to go ahead and I want you to get into a runner stance, however you think a runner stance would be. If you have siblings, it'd be great if you could even line up like you're getting ready to start a race together. You don't actually have to do the race just yet. Hang tight on that. We'll do that at the end if you want. But go ahead and stand how a, how a racer would. Okay? Think about the Olympics. Do you have a stance? Parents, if they're in their stance, I'd love to see a picture as well as what they're coming up with. Okay, go ahead and relax a little bit. So if you're thinking about a runner, what are some things you think you need to run a really good race? Shorts, t-shirt, um, I'm not one to wear shoes very often, but tennis shoes, those would be handy, right? Lightweight tennis shoes. Um, you might even need a coach. Has anybody been a big runner before? I am the last thing you can call a runner. Um, but I did do a couple half marathons before, and something else that was very helpful in that was um, the crowd and people around me. Do you, think a, do you think people cheering you on would be helpful if you're getting tired while you're running, or especially if you're running a race? I know it's helpful for me. So once upon a time, way back in the day, I was running a half marathon, and on mile 12, I was so tired, and I didn't know if I'd be able to make it to the finish line, and I turned the corner, and there was an entire marching band out on the side cheering us on for our final mile, and that gave me the absolute charge that I needed. So I didn't have a, a running coach, but I did have friends that had done it before. They, they ran a lot, they trained a lot, and they helped me prepare and know what was coming up and how to prepare myself. So if you're not a runner, that's all right. Uh, but it's a great example of life. Actually, in the Bible, in Hebrews, the Hebrews actually compares Christianity at times to a race. Um, that it's a, it's a long haul. And the, the effect that we have when Christians cheer, cheer each other on and we take care of each other. But who do you think the, the coach is in this situation? Jesus, right? And fortunately for us, there's a pretty good manual here. And you don't even have to pay a subscription or a membership fee. You just get to enjoy it and hear the coach along the way as well. So this coming week, I know um, it's a good metaphor for what's going on in, in life right now. Know that it's just all a part of the race and there's, there's hills and there's turns and there's twists and there's straight stretches as well where you get to enjoy a lot of, a lot of the fun and the easy time as well. Um, but know that Jesus is our coach and have fun with that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and know that Jesus loves you. And I also love you guys. Have a great Sunday.